Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to AFL Cairns TV. I'm Paul Smith, and to my left here we have a fellow Cutters senior player, Paul Buller. And uh, we're here to preview this week's round 11 for the women and round 18 for the seniors. Previewing the first game of the team at AFL Cairns women's game will be the Cutters versus the Tigers at Fretwell Park. Uh, before I get stuck into that, uh, the Cutters will be having a triple header. We'll be kicking off a triple header at Fretwell starting at 11.30, followed by the reserves and then senior grade footy. Um, for the women though, Cutters coming off a huge upset win against Mananda last week, Buller. Um, Hawks were previously undefeated, so no doubt Hawks to be a little bit cranky about that, but Cutters are finding some form at the right time. Who, who are we looking out for in the Cutters? Uh, Katara Farrak, she's, uh, she's been killing it, and I just heard she just uh, made the Australian under-18 squad, which is a great That's effort awesome. from really such a young, for a young talent. And for the second game uh, for the round for the women will be the Hawks against the Bulldogs out of Craven Park, which will kick off also a triple header starting at 11.30. Now, Bulla, uh, obviously Hawks were probably under the pump coming into this game after last week's um, loss to the Cutters. Who, who, should be, who should we be looking at to bounce back and lead their team to victory? Look, they'll, be looking at, they'll be looking for a win after getting knocked off last week and I reckon Peggy Lane, she's been playing pretty good footy I've heard. So yeah, yeah, awesome. She'll, she'll, she'll go okay. Yeah, hopefully for them that they get over the line and hopefully the dogs can put up a good fight. Yeah. Okay, first game we're going to preview for round 18, Smitty, is uh, Centrals versus Lions out at Crowther Park. Anyone we should be watching from Centrals this week, mate? Yeah, well, there's one fella, uh, a good mate of mine, Tim McCauley. Um, I think a few weeks back, you did a pretty good job on him. You kept him pretty, pretty quiet for that day, even though the dog has got up, and I still think um, he's having nightmares since that day, but he's been playing some pretty good footy, so uh, up on T-Mac. And uh, what do you got to say about the Lions, mate? Oh, look, I take my hat off to the Lions every week. They still get a team on the paddock and they fight it out to the last sign, which is really good to see from them and hopefully they can do it for the next couple of rounds as well. So keep going, Lions. Game two this weekend, Smithy, we've got uh, Hawks versus Saints at Griffiths Park. Uh, it's going to be a cracker of a game. With, it's a mini, mini semi-final. Um, yeah, who do you think is going to go right for? Yeah, you're right, mate. Hawks. Definitely going to be a huge game. Going to be an absolute rip snorter of a game out there. Uh, hopefully the Saints faithful get out there. Uh, Hawks were down last week, probably in in their eyes. Uh, and Izzy Frank was a little bit quiet too. So no doubt he and the team are looking to bounce back. And, and Marky Harbour is definitely going to get the best out of them. And going at it, teams going at it, teams going at it. Uh, it's going to be a cracker, as you said. Uh, I think as well with the Saints though, if uh, coach Timmy Lamperl is playing, it'll certainly add another dimension to their forward line and uh, it'll make it a lot even for both teams and if, you, if you're a footy fan I reckon you should get out there and pay that price yeah. to get in and watch, it's going to be an awesome game of footy. Saints really have to win too to stay in that four and to equal up with Hawks as well so that's right. it's going to be very, sure. that's right. Previewing the last game of the round at Fretwell Park will be the Cutters against the Tigers, kicking off at 3pm. And as I said earlier, that will be our triple header park. So if you're at Park, so if you're a Tigers fan or a Cutters fan, get down there. Now, Buller, we do have a couple of big shout-outs for the game. Yes. What have we got? Got a couple of 200s, mate. Just join, Ooh, the, who? join the crew. Cameron Campbell and Campbell, uh, Michael, Campbell. Michael Markham. So, yes. Smiling it's gonna assassin. Be, it's going to be a big day. Yeah, so, I mean, obviously they're two club greats uh, in their own right uh, and obviously kudos to them and we on behalf of us and the footy club congratulations yep. to you boys yeah, and hopefully awesome. we can get a big win and enjoy the uh, ipod shuffle night yep. so if you're not doing anything saturday night get down <laughs> 20 dollar entry uh, iPod <laughs> shuffle and 300 dollars up if your uh, if your song is played last the cutters have really got to keep an eye on for that game by thomas clough by Spar. He's, he's a gun, runs all day, uh, he's probably going to pole well in the Crullin as well. What, what are his, okay, what, what are his traits 
Mage just, as I said, he doesn't stop running and he's, he gets the footy, finds the football. Yeah, he gets a bit of air time like myself too, doesn't he? Yes, he can yeah. take a few good grabs. Yeah, so yeah I know that feeling. Hopefully it's Sometimes not, I think I'm never going to come down. Hopefully it's not, hopefully it's not on any, myself or anyone. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Right. Now the Cutters have a huge in for yes. this game. Yes. Who is it? Not too sure, mate. We'll not too sure. Well, Paul we'll Block. This Check. bloke here. Um, again, who are you going to run with? Are you going to run with him? Nah, he's way too fit for me, mate. That's true. Um, he's a bit taller than you. Your mate, your mate Zach, you had a good day on the weekend. Yeah, he did, he did. Um, I thought we might have stopped talking about it by now, but he did kick a lazy 12 from the middle, so well done, Zacha. And it'll be the first and last time you kick a big bag like that, mate. But, yeah, what? so hopefully we... Just out of... What, yeah. What's the most you've kicked, mate? Um, a little... Oh, 13, Zacha. 13, oh. 13 but... Camo's got his base, mate, he kicked 15, so... Ah, well, that's what happens when you put yourself forward all day. <laughs>